In this 2D Crystal Consortium video, Penn State graduate student Fu Zhang is going to demonstrate his procedure, published in 2018 in the journal Nanotechnology, for how he transfers 2D layered thin films from his initial growth substrate to a different final substrate. Here, a piece from our initial growth substrate, molydosulfide on sapphire, is being placed onto a piece of silicon wafer with a small piece of double-sided tape attached. After pressing our initial growth wafer piece firmly to the silicon wafer, the sample is moved to the spin coater where two drops of 495 PMMA A6 is applied. The sample is then spun at 500 RPM for 15 seconds, followed by 4500 RPM for 45 seconds. The sample is removed from the spin coater and allowed to dry overnight typically 12 to 18 hours. The next day we use a razor blade to shave PMMA from the perimeter of our sample. Next we remove the carrier silicon wafer and the double sided tape from our PMA coated sample. The sample is then put into a DI water bath at 90 degrees C. After five minutes, we begin to look for signs of delamination of the PMA and thin film from the sapphire wafer. These signs include bubbles and peeling at the edges of the film. If no signs of peeling have occurred after 20 minutes, then we repeat this step using a basic solution of up to one molar sodium hydroxide. Once signs of delamination begin, it is possible to use a second pair of tweezers to encourage the films to begin separating from the substrate. Once an edge has clearly begun to separate, hold the substrate at a 45 degree angle and patiently let the water slowly separate the films from the substrate. Care must be taken to not flip over the film. If flipped, the film will be damaged and develop an easily observed wrinkled texture. If we have used sodium hydroxide, we use a glass slide to transfer our sample from the delamination bath to a DI water rinse. We let the film set for 20 minutes and then transfer them to a clean DI water rinse bath for another 20 minute rinse. We use three 20 minute rinses in total. For our sample in this video, we are transferring to a piece of silicon for our final substrate. Using two pairs of tweezers and our silicon substrate, we carefully fish out the films. The PMMA and thin film on a silicon substrate is then placed on a hot plate for 10 minutes at 50 degrees C, followed by 10 minutes at 70 degrees C. Finally, we are ready to remove the PMMA leaving our thin film on a final substrate. To dissolve the PMMA, the sample is put into an acetone bath, typically for one to two hours. For some samples, a thicker PMMA layer is used. In this case, the samples are left in the acetone bath overnight. After the acetone soak, the samples are rinsed in isopropyl alcohol for 10 minutes, and then dried on a hot plate at 70 degrees C for five minutes. Once dry, we have successfully transferred our thin film. This video was produced with funding provided by the National Science Foundation, the 2D Crystal Consortium, and the Pennsylvania State University.